Hello there, Prosopokoilus Giraffa. We found some uh, nice beetles around uh, three weeks ago. And I placed them into these uh, little mating boxes so that they have time uh, to meet and mate here in the box. And today I think they are ready uh, to be transported into another box for the breeding so that the female can lay her eggs. You see here's the nice male. It's always ready and always waking with this with his uh, antennas. And it's uh, practically the same for the females. They also move the antennas in this very typical uh, form. And it's also if you have different if you have different species of Prosopocoilus or uh, Dorcus or whatever and you see a black female big size like that, you can judge her by the movement of the antenna that it's uh, that it's a female of Prosopocoilus girofa. Very nice. So now I prepared a box for them. This one. And it's filled with very nice things that they love so much. It's white rotten wood here. And of course on the top some bark. And the only thing I have to do is to put them in here. And of course to place some new beetle jellies that they can eat. Like this one here. And of course I've also placed more beetle jelly here. So that the males, oh, the male also can eat from it. If I need another male for another female, that's very easy with Giraffa because uh, the males, they mostly stay on top, <laughs> on top of the substrate. And if you want to place another male with another female, you will always see them on the top of the, of the box, like this. They are very nice beetles. I like them very much and they grow fast. And, and big here in this kind of substrate and now we have to wait for another I would say two three months we have to replace the beetle jellies every week and of course it would be nice to put some uh, fruits in there too yeah I have some more the number one we can put in here now we have several look here it's another box with a pair oh this is even bigger you see this male here is even uh, more spectacular than the other one that we have. And now let's see whether we find the female in here somewhere. Because it's it's good to be sure that uh, that there's really a pair in there. Because uh, if you have this material with the with the wood and everything. And you are not sure whether there's really a pair in there. Oh, yeah, big, big, big. So, let's see where the lady is. There's some. And you only see, of course, this kind of uh, material. Because uh, there is a light in the cellar where I have my beetles. And um, that's why plants like this can grow, and also that's why the people stay, they like to stay in there. So, look, you see what I said? <laughs> it's no female in here anymore, so probably I, I made something wrong with it. Oh yeah, I've written that it's a male and the female, but it's only, um, here are the two females, yeah, okay. Yes, here's one um, female, very nice. So, but the other one here, I think this one died. Yeah, so we have this pair now. I never place two uh, males in a box, that's what I don't do because they would fight all the time and they would disturb also the female. Oh, that wouldn't be nice. But look what we have here. 
This is the box that I prepared for the breeding of uh, Prosopocoilus. What we see here is a very nice mushroom. Now let's see what it is and what it could be. Because sometimes we can eat it. Oh yeah, that's a shiitake. <laughs> it's a shiitake mushroom coming out of a piece of of oak wood that they have uh, put on the top of it. That's really nice, but of course you have to be sure that it's a shiitake like me because I'm um, I I uh, I cannot tell you what it is exactly. So yeah, that's also a sign that the material here is very nice for them for breeding and also we just have to to do what we always do with them we just place them in here this also the male and that they will like it some people they always ask so why don't you give them a bigger cage where they can fly around or something like that they don't fly around if if they are happy they stay very close there they don't go around very often they stay at the right place where they have the right food and the right surrounding uh, for breeding and that's why you don't have to uh, make a very big cage because they couldn't use it and they wouldn't because of course they have um, they have wings but uh, they don't fly if they don't have to because they are big and they only uh, use up their energy but by flying around that's what they don't want they want to lay their eggs and stay as long as possible uh, together and yeah feel okay if they have food and there's a male and a female together that's probably the best thing uh, for them Protopocoilus girafo a second pair here and for munchies a nice well it is pretty fresh a nice shiitake mushroom of course this looks a little bit different than normal shiitakes because they grow they have gone in this kind of a box. Yeah, thanks for watching.